back to the show. Now, last week, we covered nutrition for pregnant mums. And as promised, this week, we will concentrate on nutritional needs for breastfeeding mothers. Mm. Now, that will be the, for the first uh, six months of your child's life. Mm -hmm. And also, we'll focus on what best foods to introduce to your child and when to start we weaning them. There you go. Of course, as mothers, there's this interesting, uh, intrinsic need uh, to give the very best for your child mm -hmm. and for fathers too as well. Uh, so, as such, we speak to a nutritionist and a wellness guru, Wang Yu Jin, to find out some of the best eating habits you should inculcate and, of course, for your baby as well uh, and ensuring that they get the best nutrition ever. Ladies, and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Wong Yu Jin, lawyer turned nutritionist. <laughs> now, that's something Hello. new as well. Great great to be here. Great yeah, to one, be here. one of these days, I'm going to have to sit down with you and ask you how in the world does a lawyer become a wellness uh, guru? Because you follow your heart, that's yeah. why. Right? <laughs> and I can talk on and on. Probably rest of the day. Maybe over a cup of coffee. But of course, at this point in time, uh, we're talking about uh, nutrition for mums. Of course, uh, uh, of course, uh, mums right here in Malaysia, around the world, I encourage um, to breastfeed as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at this at this point in time, um, what are the actual benefits of um, mother's milk for the baby? Well, well, uh, one thing is that the babies usually um, they do not they're not equipped mm -hmm. to create antibodies for all, all those harms that are coming in. Mm -hmm. but they're very new to the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, they they're slowly learning. They they learn to to create all these antibodies in their bodies. Um, but in the meantime, the mother's milk has all these antibodies. Mm. Yeah. So when it comes, uh, when they take the mother's milk, they're actually more protected. So mm -hmm. the immune system is much better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's one. And the second thing would be, um, if you take mother's milk, the baby will be less, uh, there's more less prone to allergy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's been shown that if you you get them on like cow's milk or formula milk, it's a lot of more allergic reactions. Exactly. Yeah, of course, uh, which leads to more trouble for new parents out there, yeah, especially yeah. in terms of buking and colic and all. Uh, you probably know that. Uh, look, well. at, look at our eye bags. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> now, um, now we, we're clear of the... Now we know the a few of the benefits for the child. Mm. How about for the mother itself? Um, are there any benefits for mum to breastfeed child? Definitely. I'm sure you know that the number one benefit would be the bonding experience mm -hmm. with your child. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it's so different actually when you breastfeed and you have that that really co the connection with the child. Mm -hmm. Some, but, well, somehow I cannot imagine this connection because I've <laughs> never tried it before. But, but my I, husband did say once, he oh, really? was watching um, mm -hmm. me feed my child, he's like, you know what, I'm jealous of yes. that connection. Oh, actually, For most sure. fathers feel that way. They're sure. yeah. jealous of that. But then um, it also it's also been shown that if you do breastfeed, your risk of um, breast cancer is actually lowered. Mm. Ah, mm. that's something. Mm. Uh, Later that's on in life, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And also, breastfeeding mm. burns like around. 250 calories a day. I know, that's fantastic, isn't yeah. it? Ah, so it's that like actually is your smelt figure. Yeah, it's like a four kilometer run. <laughs> well, that, I, I wish my baby would latch on to me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for a four, four, four kilometer run. But uh, okay, that's some of the uh, benefits as well. But uh, um, here, here's the thing. Um, when it comes to the quality of the, of the breast milk as well, um, of course, uh, what mother eats, a mother uh, expresses yeah. as well. Hmm. Um, uh, what are some of the uh, foods uh, or food groups that should be concentrated on for moms? Well, one of the important things, obviously, is calcium-rich food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And calcium-rich food and things like um, dark leafy vegetables. If she consumes dairy, then, of course, dairy would be the best. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, soy products or nuts and seeds and beans. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very important for the mother not to take anti-nutrients. Anti-nutrients anti means things like that's loaded with sugars and fats. Mm. Oh, so I these see. are these are high calories, but mm -hmm. there are basically no nutrients in there. Mm -hmm. So she has to take nutritious food, mm -hmm. things which are, which are packed with um, lots of antioxidants, vitamins and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that, that should be the way that she eats. What about mm. iron? Now, iron is very strong. Now, I've also heard mm -hmm. that um, sometimes uh, breastfeeding, breastfed babies have an iron deficiency. Is mm -hmm. this true? Because back in the day, my mom would be like, oh, you know, we had to give you iron drops to help supplement that. Mm -hmm. How, uh, but today, I know my doctor didn't pres uh, prescribe any. Is that an old belief? Well. Iron is probably sufficient in the breast milk mm -hmm. till about six or seven months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, it's probably insufficient for the growing baby. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're just relying purely on the breast milk, then it would not be enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why after six, seven months, then you have to actually move on yes, and wean them to yes, solid yes. foods. You can mm -hmm. still have breast milk, but mm, uh, combination. 
Mm-hmm. So of course, for for mothers out there, I mean, I I know sometimes you know you get hungry really really often and such, and so you oh, try yes. to grab as <laughs> anything. So oh, I got to fill myself up. I mean, no, I'm breastfeeding, but what you consume, uh, the baby will consume as well. So exactly. that's, that's a point to ponder. Mm. Um, and now when we go to uh, the process of weaning as well, um, the, the, there's conflicting, uh, 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 let's say, information. Um, I started at four months. Um, Aisha started at six months. Is there a, a, a time frame yes. where the baby should start uh, going yeah, to How do you know your child's ready? Well, typically, typically a child would be... Um, the, 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 average, the average number of months is probably about six or seven months. Six, mm-hmm. or, seven. six or seven months. That's the average. But sometimes it's different, a little bit different uh, from child to child. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. when you... You can try giving them about a, a little bit earlier, five to six months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when they spit out the food and they, they don't seem to be ready for that kind of food, mm-hmm. um, you want to give them a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. And it's no rush, really. Mm-hmm. It's no rush because bre- breast milk is so good for the, for the baby. That's so there's no real, real rush for to change them to solid food. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like you mentioned, there are a lot of conflicting advice. Some people even say, if your child can sit up, mm-hmm. therefore it's ready. They go, oh, really? Is that, yes, is, yes. Is, is um, that an old wife's tale or any truth to that, Eugene? Um, I haven't heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah, I haven't heard that one either. No, oh, that but one. Uh, also, uh, here's a, another issue as well. Uh, lots of doctors uh, advocated, uh, lots of uh, old school advice comes from this as well. Keep your baby uh, breastfed as long as possible. Mm. But when is it too long? Right, right. Mm. <laughs> um, actually, back in the old days, mm-hmm. they used to say like one to two years, mm-hmm. even up to two years. But old. the World Health Organization still says that until mm-hmm. two years. Yes, old. yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's it's quite outdated. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason for that is because back in the early 1900s, mm-hmm. um, the the concern was hygiene, mm-hmm. hygiene mm-hmm. of the outside food. Exactly. So that's why they want to keep the baby with breast milk as long as possible. Mm-hmm. But that has all changed, you know, we, we're so modern nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The other formulas are also good and we have loads of healthy baby food. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I would say around six to seven months. Mm-hmm. Because after seven months, um, probably just the breast that's milk alone. exclusively mm-hmm. breastfed. Yes, mm-hmm. that's exclusively mm-hmm. breastfed. Mm-hmm. Um, you could actually mix it up mm-hmm. and then you take it, take it out a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. But the effect of the breast milk on the immune system is not very not very strong after about six or seven months. Mm. I see. Now, uh, a lot of people will, uh, you know, would want to continue giving their child some form of milk. Mm-hmm. Now, other than breast milk, there's obviously cow's milk formula, which is uh, de- derived from cow's milk mm-hmm. and goat's milk. Mm-hmm. And there's also a worldwide movement to say that, you know, goat, cow's milk is no longer good for you anymore. Now, what's your opinion on this? There are a lot of, once again, there are a lot of different conflicting exactly, news schools yeah. of thought when it comes to this. Mm. Um, cow's milk is okay, but mm-hmm. you do not want to give it too early. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Because cow's milk, the casein in cow's milk mm-hmm. can cause a lot of allergic reactions. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm and um, a lot of bloating and things like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they, they vomit a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you, you want to delay that a little bit longer. I would say at least for a year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At mm-hmm. least for a year. Um, because cow's milk, the composition of cow's milk is very different, different from, from, us, right? from breast milk. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But goat's milk, on the other hand, is it's actually it's, it's more similar. Oh, it's really? more similar to, to mother's milk. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So goat's milk is a little bit more acceptable. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you could start it a, a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. But you will want to water it down mm-hmm. because the concentration in goat's milk is, is very concentrated. Oh. So I would say probably you okay. like to water it down maybe uh, one to two. Mm-mm. I see, one to two, yeah? Yes. But mm-hmm. around that age now, children, like you mentioned, just then, kids can get almost all of their nutrients from food already. Mm-hmm. Now, this whole process of weaning mm-hmm. is not always an easy thing. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I, I believe you've actually prepared some slides mm-hmm. um, yes, yes. as to, uh, you know, how to introduce Well, let's bring it out, bring it out, man. <laughs> Especially for, for, of course, uh, would-be mothers out there who are, who are really quite scared of, of uh, trading uh, down this new uh, territory. I know, so weaning is quite... Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, of course, uh, if, if you can take up the slides right about now. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, maybe a bit of a review from, from your side. Yeah. Actually, um, is the slides coming on? Yes, um, they'll be coming on in a bit. Yeah, it should be now. as a bit of a... a yeah, yeah, right, yeah. there you go. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a four-step... Um, four four step, steps, yeah? Four steps to solid food. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, what we want to start off with is iron-fortified cereal. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like mm-hmm. what Aisha said correctly, uh, iron is very important for development of the... especially mm-hmm. the brain of mm-hmm. the child. Mm-hmm. So, when you start off with cereal, which is kind of mushy and easy for him to take, mm-hmm. and then um, 
mix it with a little bit of breast milk. That would be probably best. Uh -huh. ah, start okay. off with iron fortified cereals. Then you move on to um, easy vegetables. When I say easy vegetables, these are the soft vegetables. Like carrots, pumpkin. Carrots is a little bit hard. A little bit hard. I, 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 I like to suggest the three peas, mm -hmm. which is peas, mm -hmm. pumpkins, and potatoes. Ah, uh, potatoes would be both the, the, the white and the, the red, the, the, red, the, the red ones, the sweet potatoes. Yeah. So those are easy vegetables, mm -hmm. and a little bit similar in texture to uh, cereal, mm -hmm. and that that's what they, they accept. Ah. And after a while, you can move on to fruits. Mm -hmm. But I would suggest cooked fruit first. Cooked fruit. Yeah. Cooked fruits. Okay. So you, what you can do is you can bake them, yeah. or you can stew them. you can stew them mm -hmm. so that it becomes mushy mm -hmm. and acceptable. What because babies are very sensitive to the texture, mm -hmm. to the texture of food. You know, mm -hmm. so it it cannot differ too much from there. Exactly. And once you're used to the, he's used to the cooked fruits, you can move on to chewy vegetables. Mm -hmm. Would it also depend on um, whether your baby sprouted teeth or not, or is uh, you know every, anything goes at this point? Um, if you're mashing things up, mm -hmm. um, then not, problem, doesn't right? really matter that mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. uh, even when we talk about chewy vegetables, things like broccoli, mm -hmm. zucchini, mm -hmm. carrots, mm -hmm. um, you you will still cook it and you still mash it up. Yep, yep, yep. When yep, do you yep. start introducing? Proteins. Uh, when you start introducing meat, chicken, fish. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I would say about probably nine to ten months. Nine yeah. to ten months. Nine yeah. to ten months. Probably start with a little bit of um, maybe sliced chicken, mm -hmm. some yeah. cooked chicken, something very simple for him. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Um, don't start off with red meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once he gets, you, he, if he likes that chewiness and he likes that that taste, then mm -hmm. you can introduce a little bit more. I see, I see, all right. Uh, may, uh, maybe last question before we, we have to wrap this up. Um, a lot of people go fish before chicken, fish before chicken. I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have an idea why? Mm, no preference, really. Yeah, no preference. Yeah, no really, preference. Yeah. It's just that um, the mm -hmm. texture is just different, like I said. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Chicken is a little bit more chewy. Yes. But um, sometimes fish is easier to. Yeah, move. fish is just. Fish, you can actually just mash it up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it, it really depends on the child. All it right. really depends mm -hmm. a lot on the child. There you go. Something for viewers to, to keep note of. It all depends on the child. Exactly. Uh, and you know what? Trust your instincts as a parent. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the end of the day, there are a lot of books that say a lot of that certain things when mm -hmm. it comes to, you know, how long should you be breastfeeding? What mm -hmm. should you do? Mm -hmm. In the end of the day, know what's right mm -hmm. and trust your instincts. Exactly. This is all just a guide. Mm -hmm. It's a learning experience after all. Exactly. Yes. exactly. But then again, um, you, you've been very, very helpful with your tips, that's for sure, Eugene. For you know? sure. And uh, once again, I'd still like to know how a lawyer becomes a wellness guru. Uh, uh, coffee we'll, after we'll, take a quick break. we'll take a quick break and then you guys can have that chat. Absolutely. Right. But once again, thank you very much for those tips. And it's hopefully, mums um, uh, um, well, to be out there, well, nothing really much to be nervous about. I mean, uh, we understand it's, it's breaking new ground, but uh, as long as you trust your instincts and, uh, and keep to those tips that we've given you, you should, uh, you should be all right, inshallah. Inshallah.